For the following exercises, determine the least possible degree of the polynomial function. Uh, so let's take a look at this example first. All right. So uh, to find the least possible degree of a polynomial, it's based on the shape, especially if you're given the graph. All right. Um, so we can kind of think about it in this simple way. We can say that the least possible degree of the polynomial, or aka the LPD, the LPD, baby, you know me. The LPD, baby, you know me. It's the least possible degree. Who's going to buy my album, huh? Yeah. Album. What? Is that even a thing? Yes, I'm 76 years old. Anyway, least possible degree. Uh, you can simply look at the graph, take the number of turns, the number of turns, okay, that you see on the graph, and then add one to it. That'll give you the LPD, all right, or least possible degree of the polynomial. Now, you can also substitute in here if you wanted the number of hills and valleys. That might be helpful. Um, on uh, certain problems, but um, on others, it might lead us down the wrong path. Ha ha, no pun intended. So um, here we go. Let's take a look. So I consider this a turn, right? Pretend you start at the leftmost uh, side of the function and you're going to move to the rightmost side. So you go up and whoop, there you go. You make one turn, right? And now you're going to go whoop, you make another turn. I'm not really sure what that sound was. But in any case, you have one turn here and one turn here. So for a total of two turns. So you're simply going to take two, add one to it, and you're going to come up with three. All right, so that's going to be the least possible degree of this polynomial. So we're going to do, uh, we'll say that it's x cubed, All right? It represents, it's not x cubed by itself, but it's some, it's some cubic function, so maybe I should have write x cubed. But it's definitely going to be a three degree polynomial, right? Then simple, take a look at the other one, right? How many turns are there? Whoop, just one, right? So take one. That's the number of turns, add one to it, what do you get? Two. So that's the least possible degree. Easy enough, right? You can also look at it in terms of the uh, hills or valley. There's one hill here, you could have added one to that, that would have been two. And here there's a hill here and a valley here, so that would have been again two plus one. Any way you like to look at it, either way is going to be good, but there is a limitation to the hills and valleys one, as we'll probably see eventually. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Hopefully this helps, and I look forward to helping you with more problems. See you soon.